Bert. Bert, what's that phrase all the kids are saying? You know, the one about fall? Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's fall, y'all. much for clicking on this video that was super sweet of you so in today's video I'm giving you fall vibes we're doing a fall makeup tutorial giving you something super quick super easy I used like four eyeshadows which for me is like not that many and you could definitely do it with less but I'm giving you a pretty basic pretty simple fall look but if you like fall and if you like purple tones then please keep on watching all right, let's get into these fall tones. So the palette that I'm going to be using for 90% of my look today is gonna to be the Jackie Ina Anastasia palette. And I wanted to use this palette because I feel like a lot of fall looks tend to lean on the like orangey brown side. And while I'm like very pro orangey browns, I wanted to throw a little purple in there because I think purple doesn't need to be like a bright summery color. I think purple can work in the fall too. So today we're giving purple a chance, um, and I'm going to be doing kind of a, a faux cut crease business here, so I guess we'll, we'll see how that works out. For the top part of my, my faux cut crease, I want to go in with the purple, and I have been loving this purple from the Jackie Ina palette, which ironically is called Pinker. Shows up a little more purpley on me, but I, I get that it has a more warm undertone, so it's kind of a pinky purple, but I think that's going to look super pretty in my crease. So that's what I'm going in with. I'm going to be using a small tapered brush so that I can really pack the color on, and then I'll buff it out a little bit with a bigger, fluffier brush in a moment. Just packing that color on. And I'm bringing it out sort of into a wing shape like you would if you were going to cut the crease with concealer. But I am faking it today. So we are just taking it out in the shape of a wing. Take it down just a little further. These shadows blend so beautifully. Wow. All right. Let me just do this on the other side real quick. All right. So just taking a bigger, fluffier brush and buffing those edges a little bit to make sure there's no patchiness. And just making that color look a little more blown out. So I know this looks a little bit, a little, a little smidgen bit messy right now, but that's okay. You don't have to focus on making your crease perfect because we're gonna go in and cut that crease. I keep doing this because it's not, it's not what you think it's gonna be, but we're still gonna cut it. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take a skin tone colored shade. For me, that's going to be this cream shade in the Kathleen Lights palette right here. The, sorry, Kathleen Lights So Jaded palette. And that's the only reason I'm not using the Jackie Ina palette for this because it doesn't have a skin tone shade for me, which is fine. You can use any palette that has a skin tone shade. So that's what I'm going to do. And I am going to take a nice rounded soft brush here. And I'm going to cut the crease with that color. All right, sweeping that color all over the lid to really create some contrast between that crease color and my lid. Make sure you bring it all the way out to the wing here. So the difference between cutting the crease with concealer versus cutting the crease with eyeshadow is that it's not gonna be as stark. You're not gonna get that super, super sharp, clean line like you would with concealer. But I almost prefer this method because I kinda like a faded line. I like a nice fade here, but it still gives me that same bold effect that a cut crease does. So I think if you're someone like me who is intimidated by doing a cut crease with concealer or maybe just is too lazy to and doesn't want to go through all the effort, I think this is a really easy to do alternative. All right, so now that we have our little fake cut crease business going on here, I'm going to go in with a wing because it wouldn't be fall without a wing. Really wouldn't be any look without a wing for me because I love a wing, but this wing is especially fall because we're going in with a nice deep brown wing rather than your typical black or my typical vibrant colored wing. We're gonna stick 
to a nice browny purple tone and the perfect shade for me is this one called Credit in the Jackie Ina palette. And I particularly like this deep brown because it almost has a bit of a purpley undertone to it. I didn't realize that it had a purpley undertone to it until I was wearing it in my eyebrows one day and all of a sudden the light hit me in a certain place and I was like, are my eyebrows purple? And my eyebrows were in fact purple because this brown does have a nice beautiful plum undertone to it. So it's really gonna suit this look today because we got this purple in the crease. I'm gonna be taking an angled brush like this and I am gonna wet it a little bit just because, you know, we got a lot of shadow down in the lid already and I think it's just gonna glide on better when it's wet. I prefer to do my shadow liners like that. I always like to wet it. I like to make everything into a liquid basically just because I think it applies so much easier. So going into credit and we are gonna create a wing that kind of follows the shape of this crease, cut crease wing situation. love how that wing came out. Now I'm going to do it on the other side. All right, other wing is done and I am really liking how this look is looking so far. So though I was tempted to keep this all matte, I am not going to do that. So I am going to, for my inner corner highlight, dip back into my Jackie Ina palette and use this beautiful golden pinky peachy shade, So Light. Such a beautiful color and I feel like for this look, it's just enough of a pop of shimmer that, I don't know, definitely gives me fall vibes too, you know, because it's not like a, an icy inner corner highlight, you know, like, it's not your typical champagne inner corner highlight. She's got peachier tones, she's got more orangey tones. All right, so for the lower lash line, I think I am gonna give in to the kids and give you a little bit of a, an orangey moment down here. Purple on the top, orange on the bottom. Are they complimentary? We'll see. So the shade I'm gonna dip into is Ginger, this beautiful orangey warm brown down here. And I'm just gonna put that on the lower lash line. Hope for the best, I guess. I actually really like that color on the lower lash line. I feel like it bridges the gap between warm and cool tones because you have kind of like a warm toned -y purple on the top and then a cool toned purpley brown and then you got your warm toned brown. Just balances out all the tones for me and I like it. I think it's gonna look a lot better with mascara on so please hold for that. All right, I'm back. Mascara and brows are on as is a little bit of my base makeup that I didn't think was that relevant to show because it's just the same bronzer contour I always use called I don't know, from ColourPop. I forgot the name. Cool, it's ColourPop Bronzer, excellent. But I did want to show you a blush that I think is just fantastic for fall. I use it year round, but the Makeup Shayla ColourPop Collab Blush in Construct is like my favorite blush, but I'm really psyched because I have not worn it in the fall because I forget when this was, collection was released, but I don't think it was fall. I think it was like spring or something. I don't know, but I think that this blush is like the perfect tone for fall. It's not quite matte, has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but it's not too much. Man, it is really easy to overdo blush, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Let me show you how I fix an overdone blush because I usually overdo my blush. Clean brush, nothing on it, right? Clean brush, yes. And we're just gonna bring that into my bronzer. That's the nice thing about this blush too is because it has a bit of a brown undertone you can just move it back right into your bronzer all right I think that looks a lot better so we're, it's probably just because I'm washed up by the light but we're gonna move on to lips now all right for lips I've had this bad boy in my collection for quite a while this is blackberry sorbet from Sephora it's one of their cream lip stains it's basically the same color as pinker but like maybe a little deeper so I'm gonna give the people what they want. We're gonna do a dark, vampy lip. I don't even go in with lip liner, probably because I don't have a color that works for this, but I find that the cream lip stains apply really smoothly and evenly, and you don't really need a lip liner. I really like this formula, too, because it's matte, but it's not like a drying matte. It's more of a satin finish, I would say, but it is pretty long wearing, too. 
All right, there we go. There's the vampy lip for you. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to highlight, and I was so excited about the highlight too because I'm gonna attempt to use the same color that I used in my inner corner, Soleil, as a highlight because I tested it on my wrist. I think it's gonna look okay, and it's just such a pretty shade. It, it doesn't deserve to be confined to just my inner corner, you know? So I'm just gonna take this tiny little Morphe brush. It's not that tiny, but tiny for a highlighting brush so I can carefully dip into the pan here, tap some off, and just focus it on the high, high points of my cheeks. Ooh, so pretty. Take a little on the nose here. Ooh, that's okay, just fade it out. All right, now let's spray it all down. All right, and with that, this is my finished fall makeup look. I really like how this turned out. I really like how all the purples kind of go together, giving you a vampy lip. Every time I wear a dark lip, I just, I feel like another person. I feel very witchy, feel very mystical. I'm just really feeling myself on this lip. And with this look, I love the purple tone. I think purple is a great fall color. I think it's universally flattering. I really, I can't think of anyone that I don't think looks good in purple. I think we all look great in purple, so we should all try pop some purple in your crease this fall live a little you know this look is very easy to do it's really just a purple crease and a brown wing that's it i hope you try out the tip of doing a little fake cut crease like that i found this tip out for the first time from oh i can't say her name i'm gonna insert her name here i would like to credit that tip to her because she mentioned it in her Instagram. She did an Instagram video about it once and I was like, ooh, hot tip and I think it works pretty well. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of content that you can watch. I hope you all have a great first day of fall tomorrow or if you're watching this after the first day of fall, I hope that your fall has been swell so far. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!